us. Um, welcome to Manchester and welcome to the Asylum 30th or 31st Anniversary Conference. Um, my name is Helen Spangler, I'm one of the editors of Asylum magazine. I've been involved in the magazine for many years now. I'm delighted to see so many people here today. Um, what I want to do this morning is just to give a brief introduction to the event. Um, what it's all about and how it's going to go along. Um, so, firstly, just to sort of say what the purpose of the event is, and there's sort of three purposes, I suppose, really. Firstly, to bring together activists, supporters, and contributors of the Silent Magazine to discuss and debate what progressive mental health politics might look like today. Secondly, to develop asylum as a platform for discussion and debate. And thirdly, to celebrate over 30 years uh, of the magazine. And fourthly, to put the radical and humour back into, back, back into mental health. Mental health politics. So I hope we will do that today. Um, I want to dedicate this event to Alec Jenner, who uh, this is the first event we've had since Alec Jenner died a few years ago, and Alec Jenner was one of the founders of the magazine and continues to be an inspiration to, to us, most of us involved in the magazine. But you may like to dedicate this uh, conference or this event to anyone you please, and there are lots of people we could potentially dedicate this conference to, people that we continually lose um, throughout our uh, activism. So, um, just want to say a few thank yous as well. Thank you to Manchester University for letting us use this venue. Um, our, our colleagues at Manchester University for letting us use this venue, I should say. Um, especially Ian Parker for lots of the work behind the scenes. Um, and not only organising this event, but organising two others as well. Three events, one is enough for me. Um, also Alex done in particularly from the Rangan University for all the work he's, he's done in helping us put this together. Mrs. Yes Books for helping the magazine and for being here today, and all our helpers <coughs> for helping out today as well, um, including Sonia Soames, who's doing our social media tweeting today. And I just want to say that if you want to follow us, um, this, is our this is our Twitter account, Asylum NW, and if you want to follow stuff for, for the conference, our Twitter, uh, our Twitter thing, what's it called? Um, hashtag, thank you. <laughs> it's Asylum Mag. Um, and you can email us any time on that, there's our website. Um, I also want to thank Jill Anderson for donating um, Bob Dylan, our asylum, our asylum dog. Um, anyone who follows us on Twitter will know about our asylum dog, who is named uh, Bob Dylan. Um, those of you who don't know may well think we're mad, but then we're in good company. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you? Uh, you it. Absolutely, thank you. Perfect. Okay, uh, just so those of you who don't know the history of Bob Dylan, I'll try and summarise it in a sentence or two. From humble beginnings as a bonkers comment in somebody's psychiatric medical notes, he became the name of our asylum mascot. And now everyone wants to be called Bob Dylan. On Twitter, that is, and we know Twitter's a. But that's solidarity for you. And solidarity, I'm glad to say, is back on the agenda in this country. Um, and when we started to organise this conference, God knows how long ago it was now, I was one of those people that thought we'd be now under a massive Tory majority. Um, and as we all know, in the last couple of months, we've seen a resurgence in support for a more progressive politics and even socialism might be back on the agenda. However, there's always a however. Um, the, what is the progressive politics of mental health on the left? Um, and I would say that even though the Labour Party made some move, they appointed a, a, a mental health um, minister that we actually met a couple of years or two ago, which was, didn't go that well, has to be said. <laughs> um, uh, and actually, if you look at the, the manifestos of the, of the parties, the probably, arguably, the 
the most progressive seem to be Theresa May's uh, statement that she would uh, uh, abolish the Mental Health Act, which is a slightly perplexing situation. Um, so this might be a dream come true for many mental health activists, particularly human rights activists and campaigners, who have long argued that the Mental Health Act is discriminatory, which I think it is. Um, but under a Tory government, a repeal of the Mental Health Act might have other consequences. So this is something that I think might be, we might want to discuss, or one of the things we might want to discuss today. Under a Tory government, might be people without uh, adequate care, support or treatment. Um, so, I believe this is a good time to start putting our own radical mental health agenda on the platform. Yeah? To put it out there, to get a more progressive left politics of mental health. If, if the progressive left is on the rise, then we need to be part of that, and part of arguing for a, a progressive mental health politics within that. Um, but, as I say, there's no consensus about what that might look like. So one of the reasons we're here today really, is to kind of discuss that in more detail. So we've put together a few themes around critical psychiatry, anti-psychiatry, um, creative responses to distress, all kinds of different themes. And we might have also included mad studies in that. We didn't for this, for this conference, but that's something we might do in the future. Um, but the Silent Magazine is always contentious, and we, we call it contentiousness, if, if, if you like, in a way. We call it controversy, if you like, because we want to see uh, these debates happening. Um, and the most important thing we want to promote is dialogue. So what we didn't want to do is have lots of long talks from people. So we've asked people to keep all their talks very short in the hope that we can have some conversation and dialogue. However, because the, the conference was more popular than we initially imagined, or initially thought, that might be difficult. Um, we've done this event at very low cost, um, so please bear with us in terms of organising things. It might not go exactly as planned. Um, but hopefully we can all make the day a success. Um, and please be considerate and kind to one another um, in, in the sense that if we want a different kind of mental health system, we need to prefigure what that mental health system is like. And that means we need to listen to each other and be kind to one another, when, even when we disagree, which I'm sure we will. Um, okay, we did want to turn people away. We hope we've ordered enough food, but don't be too greedy with the food. <laughs> <laughs> you might not have ordered enough food. But the good news is that Alex has managed to get us a banquet for tonight's party at Gulliver's. Um, so if you don't eat too much at lunch, you can and you'll be fed later. Will there be any bananas in that banquet? Alex, is there any bananas in the banquet? I'll make sure you've got bananas. But we do have bonios. He needs one. Dogs are welcome at Gulliver's. <laughs> Just a little cat. And yes, uh, cats too, but I don't think they want to come. My cat not want to come. Okay, so uh, not too much to say, but thanks to everybody who's contributed to our crowdfunding campaign to make this event low cost, and particularly to to fundraise for the event tonight. We didn't raise it's quite enough as we need, so if people do come tonight and they enjoy it and want to uh, make a donation, please do, but feel under no obligation to do so, you don't have to. Um, okay, uh, recording. We are recording all these sessions, audio recording and video recording these sessions. If you don't want to be recorded, we're, op we're operating an opt-out policy, so please let us know if you don't want to be recorded, and we'll have a cooling off period after. Okay, so at uh, the end of this, I'll put a slide up of the actual programme. We've had a few uh, cancellations and changes to the programme. In fact, we'll put it up now just to let you know. The programme you've got is pretty much accurate, but there are some changes. I think in the first session there are no changes. I think that's right. Yeah, the second one. Unfortunately, uh, John Reed won't be here. Uh, and I'll explain why in that session. Um, uh, Hannah Hull unfortunately had to pull out from a mad love, which is really unfortunate. Um, but she's promised to do a session for us, especially for us, a workshop on the design, mad love, design and design and the future date. So keep in touch with us and let us know about that. I think that's everything in terms of changes to the programme.
The other thing to say is we've got a, a quiet room that if you want to just break off and meet with a few people and talk about other stuff, you don't want to go to any sessions, that's absolutely fine because we've brought together some really good people here today. I'm, just, I'm so glad that, that you're all here. If you want to just go off and have your own conversation, then we've got a room to do that in. Where is the quiet room? The quiet room is 3.2. It's on the third floor. Yeah. So please use that and do whatever you want in it. <coughs> oh, yeah, I think I can say that. Windows. There are windows, yeah, there are windows in all the rooms. They're open too much. They're open too much. Okay, well, we can sort that out. <laughs>